Hi kids! Welcome to my class. I'm teacher Maricar of Angeles Elementary School. Today's lesson is all about reading and writing Philippine money in symbols and in words. You will learn how to recognize, read, and write money in symbol and in words through 1,000 pesos in pesos and centavos. We will start our lesson with a story problem. Many things have happened and changed due to the pandemic that we are experiencing since March. Mark's family was affected by the pandemic. Mark's parents, Mang Lito and Aling Lena, lost their jobs. He decided to open his piggy bank. He thought of using his savings to start an online business by selling sweets and pastries. While counting the money from the piggy bank, he noticed the different persons and places on the paper bills and coins. What did he discover? Let's find out. Who are the prominent persons and what are the various plants, animals, and places that he discovered from the coins and paper bills? These are the new coins released by Banco Central ng Pilipinas. We'll start with the centavo coins. We have 25 centavos, 5 centavos, and 1 centavo. In front of these coins, you would see the sun and the three stars of the Philippine flag. At the back of the 25 centavo, you would see the Katmon flower. At the back of the 5 centavo coin, you would see the Kapal Kapal vine. At the back of the 1 centavo, you would see the Mangkono flower. These are the flowers that can be seen in the Philippines. This time, let's have the peso coins. We have 10 pesos, 5 pesos, and 1 peso. In front of the 10 peso coin is a Polinario Mabini. At the back is the Kappa Kappa plant. In front of the 5 peso is Emilio Aguinaldo. At the back is the Tayabak plant. In front of the 1 peso is Jose Rizal. At the back is the Walling Walling Orchids. This time, let's study about the paper bills used in the Philippines. Let's start with the 20 peso bill. In front is Manuel L. Quezon, the Declaration of Filipino as the National Language and the Malacanang Palace. Its color is orange. At the back, you would see the Banawe Rice Terraces, the Asian Palms Kivet, and Cordillera Weave Design. Moving to the 50 peso bill, we have Serio Osmeña, the first Philippine assembly, and the late landing in front. Its color is red. At the back, you would see the Taal Lake in Batangas, the giant Trevadi, and the Batangas embroidery design. On the 100 peso bill, in front is Manuel A. Rojas, the old Banco Central ng Pilipinas building in Intramuros, Manila, the inauguration of the Third Philippine Republic. Its color is violet. At the back, you would see the famous Mayon Volcano in Albay and the Potanding and also the Bicol textile design. On 200 peso bill, in front is Justado P. Makapagal, the Edsa People Power in 2001, the Aguinaldo Shrine in Kawit Cavite, and Barasoin Church in Bulacan. Its color is green. At the back, you would see the famous Chocolate Hills in Bohol, the Tarshir, and the Visayas Weave Design. On 500 peso, in front are Corazon C. Aquino, Benigno S. Aquino Jr., the Edsa People Power 1, 
and Binigno Aquino Monument in Makati City. Its color is yellow and at the back is the subterranean underground river in Puerto Princesa, Palawan, the blue nape parrot, and the southern Philippine cloth design. In front of the 1,000 peso bill are Jose Abad Santos, Vicente Lim, and Josefa Leanes Escoda. It also shows the centennial celebration of the Philippine independence. Its color is blue. At the back is the Tubataha Reefs Natural Park in Sulu Sea. It also shows the South Sea Pearl and the Mindanao design for Tinalak. Let's go back to Mark's family. Mark's family counted a total of 5,342 pesos. How will Mark read and write the amount he saved? How can we show the use and value of the money saved? Let's read and study the ways of expressing the values of money. There are two ways of writing and reading amount of money. The first one is in symbol and the other one is in words. Let's study this example. How many 100 peso do you have? Very good. We have two 100 peso bills. How many 20 peso bills do you have? We have two 20 peso bill. How many 5 peso do you have? We only have one 5 peso. How many 1 peso do you have? We have three one peso coin. Now, how much do we have in all? If we put together all these bills and coins, how much do we get? Very good. We have 248 pesos. Let us try the next example. Miss Nikdao gave the cashier an amount of 1,767 pesos for the grocery items she bought in the supermarket. Below is the set of bills and coins she gave to the cashier. In counting amount of money, we can group the money according to their place value. We count starting from the highest, then we simply add all the values together. For example, we have 1,000 for the hundreds place, we have 1,500 and 2,100. If we put together this money, we have 700 pesos. On tens place, we have the 50 and the 10 peso coin. If we put together 50 and 10, we will get 60 pesos. On one's place, we have the 5 peso coin and 1 peso coin. If we put together all these coins, we will get 7 pesos. So if we add all together 1,760 pesos and 7 pesos, we will get 1,767 pesos. Let's try to count the given set of money below using pesos and centavos. We have 500 peso bill, 150 peso bill, 2 5 peso coins, and 3 5 centavo coins. To count the amount of money with centavos, count first the amount of bills and coins in peso. We have 500 peso plus 50 plus 10 pesos a total of 560 pesos. Then count the amount of centavo coins and add to the amount of pesos. We have 5 centavo plus 5 centavo plus 5 centavo equals 15 centavos. Let's add 560 pesos and 15 centavos. We will get 560 pesos and 15 centavos. This time, it's your turn. Count the amount of money shown in each set. How much money do we have? If you have 2 20 peso bills and 3 5 peso coins, how much money do you have? We have 55 pesos. If you have 2 50 peso bills, 
4, 5 peso coins, and 3, 1 peso coins, how much do you have? You have 123 pesos. How about this one? You have 4 100 peso bills and 5 1 peso coins. Very good. You have 405 pesos. If you have 1 1000 peso bill, 2 500 peso bills and 1 100 peso bill, how much do we get? It's 2,100 pesos. If we have 1,000 peso bill, 2 100 peso bills, 2 20 peso bills, 2 10 peso coins, and 1 5 peso coin, how much do we have? We have 1,265 pesos. We need to remember that each Philippine bill and coins has its own corresponding value. In counting money, we express the amount of bills and coins in pesos and centavos. We use the peso sign for pesos and centavo sign for the centavos. I hope you learned something from our discussion today. Thank you for watching. See you again, kids.